2022 NBA Elite Hobby Box right here. I am excited for this one because it was our favorite set of uh, last year, especially for the price. You would get on-card autos. So including in here, there's gonna be pen pal autographs, which are on-card rookie autos. There's also uh, genre graphs, which are on-card veteran autos. There's also the passing the torch is probably the number one thing everybody wants, but I think that's a multiple case hit. Um, there's some case hits that are, I think next up in dimensions. So, and here's Caleb Houston which is not a great rookie, but there's only gonna be two rookies per um, per hobby box, which is kind of crazy, but it makes them more rare, which I kind of like in a weird way. I think the design's okay for this year, but not as good as last year. So we're looking for those two autographs, but really you want those number parallels of the rookies. There's also a gold parallel of the rookies, um, I believe, but passing the torch is gonna be my number one thing. There's actually a, uh, what is the one that's, there's a Paolo, Benchero passing the torch with a shack and I believe they're on card autos, but those are like multiple case hits and it looks like there's something. Oh no, there's no color in here. Cool. So we're going to sleeve up cards unless it's a really big card. We're not going to sleeve up the cards unless we get a little bit crazy in here. Um, I'm excited to see the 2022 draft class. It's always nice to get the uh, little full, full throttle dame there. We'll put that little Put that little insert on the side. Um, cool to see the 2022 guys. I'm still a big Jabari believer. Paolo has been a little bit bad with three point shooting, but has been great everywhere else. Um, I think Jabari just has a really high ceiling. And I really like him. Jalen Williams has come up a lot. I believe in my video where we talked about the guys that I'm looking to collect for the 2022 class. He was definitely in there, I'm pretty sure. Um, the J, uh, J A L E N. And then we got a spellbound Steph Curry. This one is orange but i guess it is not numbered for the orange one so that's a little nice hit to another nice insert hit there so it's going to be a lot of base by the way so we got 20 packs and there's eight cards per pack a lot of base only two rookies um so and um if you get last year's set and this year's set i'm assuming because they're not chrome cards they're like that foil so a little bit easier to ding the corners and things like that so psa 10s of this is going to be kind of hard to find too so if you get a rookie a good rookie it looks like we got a little color rookie that looks like J-Dot or J-Dub. Nope, it is, oh, skip the card. So before we go to the rookie, we're gonna go back to the future with a little Dirk. And then we got Marjan Bochamp. So we hit our two rookies already. Um, this is, I guess this is an orange of that or gold. It looks orange to me, but you know, I've been wrong about colors on this channel before. So let's see. Now, since we hit our two rookies, hopefully they add another rookie, but we're gonna get a, uh, looking for two autos now. And the autos could be rookies, I guess. Pen Pals is where it's at. Pen Pals, big fan of Pen Pals. The football kind of looks a little bit weird. Oh, there's more rookies. So we got another Kendall Brown. Um, Pen Pals, I believe, are uh, on card. And the football ones don't look that good like I just mentioned. But the basketball ones, I really, really enjoy. So you guys let me know who you, what you guys think about who you're collecting in this set. If you guys are collecting anybody specifically, um, any of the rookies that stand out to you. I know Walker Kessler's playing really well, but see like the little ding on that corner there. Um, Walker Kessler's been playing well, but he is a center. Um, so I don't think he'll get too, too much love here. Um, I think a lot of people are probably waiting for next year's when we get uh, Victor Wambanyama. Um, I think this is the, uh, no, that's an insert it looks like. So I don't know if you guys can see there. So it looks like we got a little insert in this one. A lot of base, base cards aren't that bad, especially for this um, price. I wish the price point was under sub $200 for this set and you can get this in retail, but you know, that's what we get. So let me put this actually insert over here and put all the inserts on that side. Wish it was sub 200, but you know, I believe 275 was the price point on uh, Panini. Isn't terrible, but again, you can get killed with your autographs and we may see that soon. So we got power formulas, little KD, not numbered, Lori Markinen, Joel B, Kevin Love. All right, let's keep going. So it's a good pack to rip, I think, if you want to, if you like the 2022 guys, especially for you guys who skip the NBA hoops because it's a little bit cheaper. Um, is this the auto? Why are these all backward? Oh, I'm dumb. <laughs> uh, long day, long day for me. <laughs> let's act like that didn't exist. I still won't take it out of the edit because that's not what we do here. But there we go, a little Tim Duncan, a little LeBron James R for you guys who are collecting out there. That's a nice little purple. I, I like this purple. This is my favorite. Purple is my favorite color, and this type of purple is my favorite. The Minnesota Vikings colors, if you know what I mean. 
So we still haven't hit an auto yet. So this is the second half of the box here. So we should get our two. I think we opened up three of these on camera last year and we only hit, in one of the boxes there was only one auto. We got gypped a little bit, so we'll see. But it would be nice. Oh, a little rookie color here. So we got Christian Coloco, um, purple to 49. That one's nice there. So we're gonna put that over here. That's probably one of the bigger hits. Wish it was a better name, obviously, but you know, you never know who's gonna be the next Giannis. So let's keep going. Man, two autos. Don't tell me. I, maybe I jinxed myself by saying that. But yeah, we, we got gypped on one of our autos last year for our elite. So they say two on average. And this is maybe this is why. A little insert in this one. Come on, baby. We're going to get a... Ooh, Herb Jones. All right. So impact impressions. This one's a sticker auto. A lot of the people... Or a lot of the reason why people buy elite is because there's a lot of on-card autos. But it looks like we got a little Herb Jones. That one's not numbered. So that is our first auto of the set. I guess there's more than that. I thought that there was only supposed to be two rookies. Maybe it's the rookies are rare. They're not like how like in Prism or any other set where there's like three to four rookies per per um, per uh, pack here. It's different. You're not going to find a rookie in every single pack, as you guys saw already. Little orange Jamal Murray. That's just again, the oranges aren't numbered, but still a little bit nicer, a little bit more rare. Little Stefan, Stefan Curry, Io, Cam Thomas, everybody was buying for about five minutes. Um, I kind of said that. I think I said that in another video. If you go back in time to our early videos, I did mention Cam Thomas is going to be one of those guys that's going to pop off for a little bit. He's a great scorer, but can't stay on the court. I think it's like something defensively that he's not good in. And also why he dropped in the draft. Here we go. We got Dame Time, DeAnthony Melton. Andrew Wiggins. I don't know what's happening with Andrew Wiggins right now. I know he's been sitting for a little bit, um, but hopefully everything's okay with him mentally and stuff like that and with his family. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's a little bit of surface, like surface scratches on there right, right there. I've seen a couple, um, but not too bad in this set so far, but you'll see things like that where the corner's a little bit dinged up, little soft corners, um, but you know, hopefully it doesn't happen to any of the nice cards, but that's what happens when you have cards like these, not chrome but a little like nice a nice paper i guess foil paper there we go let's see we're wait, still seeing that second kevin herder we're still looking for that second auto and it's not in this pack man paolo would be sick to hit his auto i remember last year i think we hit i love evan mobley he's still gonna be my guy and i think that he's still probably the best um the best uh looks like a little insert in this one um the best rookie um, besides maybe Cade. Cade's been hurt though, and that team's a little bit wonky right now. We'll see in the future, but I still love Evan Mobley. Uh, speaking of Evan Mobley, still love Evan Mobley, but um, what was I even going to say? Oh, I, I hit a lot of Jalen Greens last year. So not a lot of Evan Mobley's, but a lot of Jalen Greens. So we're going to see out of all the packs we opened up from the 2022 draft class, and you guys know I love basketball, so we're going to open up most of the sets. Uh, there we go. <laughs> we got... Colin Gillespie for uh, <laughs> your Denver Nuggets. Rookie auto. This one, again, is not on uh, not on card. So that's another auto. Uh, so <laughs> we hit our good news is we hit our two autos. And then you can figure out the bad news yourself. Um, but, yeah, there we go. And you can see that card I just dropped. Another print line by his. I don't know if you can see it on the print line, like kind of by his shoulders. I don't think you guys can see that there. But. Anyways, let's try to shoot for more color here. Anyways, I'm glad to make this video because a lot of you guys, you know, a lot of people see all these people hitting these crazy hits, but sometimes you get regular boxes like this where you don't hit anything too crazy and maybe I'll speak too soon um, unless we get like a one of one speak. There's a bad print line on this one. I, yeah, I don't think you guys can see it on the camera. Hold on. Maybe. Yeah, you can't really see it, but there's some Brad print, line, print lines on some of these things, some surface issues or whatever. Unless we hit Apollo 101, speaking into existence. Maybe the, uh, I don't know. I don't know who's going to be the guy. I still want Jabari, but Jalen Williams is going to be my guy to collect. Um, the only first Vietnamese player to ever play in the league uh, for Oklahoma City. There's a lot of print lines right here. So it looks like they had some roller, was a little bit too intense. But all those cards that I just pulled were from have bad print lines and would not get a uh, piss of 10, as we call it. All right, last pack, Magic. We are for sure maybe less than like $100 worth of cards. And this is definitely more. So that looks like something, right? Little insert there. 
So let's pull three from the bottom. One, two, three. It could be our last hope. What if the last card's something crazy? It's blue, so, you know, magic blue. Luca Spellbound. So we got two. We can spell the, uh, the, d actually, <laughs> the, we'll do this way. CD. We got the C and the D. So we got two, two Lucas Spellbound. So if you guys are looking for that, hit us up on our social medias, at Brucey's underscore world. Um, we probably gonna give this away. Uh, we've been blowing up the Twitter a little bit, so probably gonna do one of those. We're on a road to 5,000 subs here on YouTube, so please subscribe if you have not. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.